All right, so my cut's jagged from my last miter. I'm gonna pop this in here. We got an outside miter, so we're going to make one mark, one up the side. Then we go slide about a half inch over, whatever you want. Sometimes people like bigger tabs or smaller tabs. Grab your square, put this flat side in there, go right to your line, right up. Go to the other one, right up. All right, take your snips. Usually I start it right here so I don't have to cut this top, but go in there. Pull that back. Go straight down. I guess not straight down, but follow the line. You can pull on this a little bit while you follow this one. Now just straight up. Now time to cut your tabs. So you kind of find your line in there. Put it in. I do an angle on these outsides. Cut off that excess. Run down. You're basically cutting out all the corners. That's what you're doing with these custom cuts. So you're getting a bunch of flat tabs. This middle one's always your big one. Flattest spot. Two down there. Angle this one down to the corner. So when you fold it over, it's not in the way. Take this. Do a straight cut on it because that other gutter is coming right here. And this back corner, same thing. Come out in on both of those. And then this is where this is where you are putting your tape. So make sure that's perfect. Fold that over. And I take the back of these snips. Bend in these tabs. And these are all getting covered up with the next gutter. And that is called the slick side and usually you got to take a little bit off the top of this one just like that pretty simple take your big tape right here. clip it right in there and if you cut that good it's still tight it'll hold it pretty good so, we got 14, 3, and 7 eighths. And then I'll take my hangers, put a hand on it. get caught up because I'm running. Running fast. And I do it every, I do it as it runs out, every two foot. Start on even numbers, unless it's an inside miter. Then I go odd, just have the hanger farther away. So I take one hand, clip, one hand holding this tape up. We want 14. 14, 3, and 7 eighths. Get it up on that stand down there. Back over here. Okay, we're running way too long. 13, 14 right there. I cut it with the snips to mark it instead of a pen. Then you're not going to lose it. You're going to know. 14, 3, and 7 eighths. Double check the measurement. 14, 3, 7 eighths. Right there. Take your tape. Pop it up. We got all them hangers. On the clip. Next miter we got is an inside miter. Inside slick. So you take your square. You go right to that cut right there. Let me get the pen. Oh, this isn't my good one, but that's okay. I'd have to mark it a couple times. You got your screen there for your measurement. Take your pattern again. Pop it in here, and instead of lining it up like this, like you normally would for another outside, slide it to this other side. Line up that back edge. Take it. Mark sideways. Mark up. Come on this side of it when you're cutting the slick. Cut this back first. Got a big tab out of it. And then, so you got room to put your snips in here. Get inside this thing. Cut straight down this. 
And then I cut another relief cut. Take your snips, bend that down, and you're just following up this line. One line on the slick, and you just follow it exact. And I kind of get to the top of my line and then just cut straight up. And these insides, I always just cut these tabs like this. You could put an angle, but there's no really use. It just gets in your way. So this is done piece. Get on the video. I'm going to show you guys this trick for outside miter. Slick. So straight down, of course. Like that. Snip this off. And then instead of cutting right on this line, just bring it an eighth inch over. And then you kind of cut back to that line as you go. So yeah, cut back to that line or whatever. I should cut this a little bit more open. Then you get a little bit more meat there at the bottom. Just because this one's covering up that tab one. So that's just a little trick with that. Cut up on these lines on the slick. Cut straight up there and then angle. We're good.